Is the Maine Coon breed the perfect choice for cat lovers and dog lovers alike? You can make up your mind after watching this comprehensive video about Maine Coon cats. Let's find out all about them, and what better way to start than with their history. So where do Maine Coon cats come from? How did they arrive in America? Well, the history of Maine Coon cats is filled with lots of legends. Some say they're the descendants of Marie Antoinette's cats. Some say they were brought to America by a sailor called Tom Coon. Oddly enough, some say they're the offspring of raccoons that bred with local cats. I know, I'd also like this to be true, but such a mix is genetically impossible. But wait, there's more! The legends don't stop here. Some think they're the result of bobcats and domestic cats' crosses. While the theory is possible and would explain some of their features, it's quite unlikely. And last but not least, they might be linked to the Norwegian forest cat. It's likely Vikings brought these cats to America approximately 1,000 years ago. The last theory is indeed the most plausible one, but it seems like we'll never know their true origin. One thing's for sure, they've been around for a long time. That's precisely why they're considered native to America. This amazing breed originated in the Maine region and is the state cat of Maine. Truth be told, they're one of the very few cat breeds that could survive Maine's harsh climate. So, how big do Maine Coons get? Well, they're described as moderate to large cats. Yep, you heard that right. Not all Maine Coon cats are large cats, even if their big frame is one of the reasons they're so popular. But the large Maine Coons out there get big. Like, really big. Males can weigh up to 25 pounds and even more. Still, their average weight is approximately 18 pounds. The smallest of them, however, can weigh just 12 pounds. Females are obviously not that big weighing from 10 to 14 pounds. They are, however, one of the largest cat breeds, if not the largest one. Additionally, they appear more massive than they are because of… fluffiness. Maine Coon's coat is long, double-layered, and thick. It's shorter on the shoulders and longer on the stomach. Their luxuriant coat would undoubtedly make every cat envious. Maine Coons also sport a big, bushy tail almost as long as their bodies. They're a fine piece of art. Everything about the way they're built makes them perfect for surviving freezing winters. What are some other defining Maine Coon traits? They grow tufts of fur between the paw pads, as well as gorgeous tufts out of the ears. Their large ears may have lynx tips, giving them a false but unique wild appearance. Maine Coons have big muscles and solid bones. They are definitely the heavy lifters of cat breeds. But because a piece of art takes time, Maine Coons are slow to mature, taking their time and reaching maturity between three and four years of age. They come in all sorts of colors and color combinations, allowing you to choose your favorite one. Their big, oval eyes also come in various colors, and they're very expressive. But what's their personality like? Maine Coons are very mellow fellows. For this reason, they're affectionately called gentle giants. They're described as perfect family pets. They're affectionate and like cuddles, even if they're not your typical lap cat. I'd even dare to say this is a good thing, especially if you've got a huge cat. Maine Coons love their family members to the moon and back. It's said they're able to notice if you're not feeling well or if you're upset. A Maine Coon will definitely try to comfort you in these situations, either by doing something silly or by trying to get your attention. When things are normal, they like showing their affection by always following you around the house. Here's something I love about them. Maine Coon cats are playful even when mature. They like to play fetch, a trait that earned them the reputation of being dog-like. They also like playing with water, and it's entertaining to watch them do so. What if you have other pets? Would a Maine Coon be the right choice? Well, yes. Maine Coons get along with both cats and dogs. They're not aggressive or territorial, making them perfect for a multi-pet household. Overall, Maine Coons are calm, affectionate, but also playful. Still, if you want to learn even more about their personality, consider subscribing, as I'll post a dedicated video on the subject. Moving on to the next questions, what environment do they need? Do you have the required space? Being a big cat, Maine Coons will need a big apartment or house. You can also spoil them by buying them cat trees. However, the cat trees must support your cat's weight. You'll need to choose a stable cat tree with higher than average sitting spots. If you don't want to spend the money, you don't have to. Maine Coons can climb up just like any other cat, but they do prefer the ground area. 
There might be exceptions, though. Nevertheless, you'll definitely need to buy a large scratching post, as the regular ones might be too small. I've searched for scratching posts suited for Maine Coons, and they're in the description. Also, make sure your Maine Coon has some comfortable places to hang out, and both of you will be just fine. What's their activity level? Maine Coons are playful and energetic cats. The Maine Coon is a happy cat if you provide him with toys resembling mice, soft balls, and other stuffed toys. At its core, a Maine Coon is a mouser, a very skilled one, and that instinct runs deep. Are they indoor or outdoor cats? Sure, they might seem suited to live outdoors, as they're big and have a cold-resistant coat. However, I believe that no cat should be left outside, at least not on its own, due to the various dangers it can encounter. Moreover, huge Maine Coons could potentially be mistaken for bobcats. If this were to happen, you never know what people could do to your cat. And now, let's find out how to take care of a Maine Coon cat. Caring for them might seem like a burden, but this is not entirely true. The Maine Coon is gifted with a long double coat. Their fur is also thick, so it needs to be brushed. Fortunately, their coat is somewhat dirt repellent, so you should only brush your cat two or three times a week. By brushing the coat, the oils produced by the skin won't remain trapped. Additionally, this procedure allows the skin to breathe and prevents skin infections from developing. You should also bathe your cat occasionally. But Maine Coons tend to like water, making the task easier. Bathing and some additional three or four visits to a professional groomer a year will keep your cat's fur gorgeous and healthy. What are the health concerns associated with this breed? The primary health concerns for Maine Coon cats are hip dysplasia and another hereditary disease that causes sudden death in affected cats. Each cat is an individual and can have various problems, but these two conditions have a higher incidence in Maine Coon cats. Breeders are trying hard to remove these problems from their cat's lineage by preventing the affected individuals from breeding. However, even if the cat's ancestors are healthy, the offspring can still be affected because their parents can be carriers. Hip dysplasia sounds awful, but it's not as bad as you think. Cats are not affected by this condition in the same way dogs are. Usually, cats will be able to walk and jump, and they'll be given drugs to alleviate the pain. Some cats don't even show symptoms, even if they have hip dysplasia. But Maine Coons are more prone to displaying them because they're large. Weight plays a huge factor in the evolution of this disease. If the cat is overweight, it will have more severe symptoms. If you want a Maine Coon, you'll need to keep your cat in shape. Another potential problem is spinal muscular atrophy, which typically causes muscle atrophy, muscle weakness, and shortened lifespan. Symptoms will appear within three to four months of age. Overall, the Maine Coon is a healthy cat. Sadly, it tends to live less than other cats, having an average life expectancy of about 13 years. And now, the crucial question. How much do they cost? As a general rule, you should always get your cat from an accredited breeder to minimize your cat's chances of having health issues. Luckily, there are lots of Maine Coon catteries out there. A Maine Coon cat costs between $800 and $2,000. They may seem expensive, but there are many costs involved for the breeders, so the price is totally justified. If you can't afford to buy one, there's some good news. You can always adopt and pay almost nothing, and you can even find Maine Coon cats or Maine Coon mixed cats at shelters. Adopting an adult cat is another great idea. By doing so, you'll be able to correctly assess the cat's personality, which is pretty impossible to do with a kitten. And of course, there are tons of other lovely cats out there that would make a perfect companion. But wrapping it up, Maine Coon cats are calm, devoted, and playful cats. They're not on top of you all the time, but they are loving and gentle. Maine Coons are perfect for families with children, and they get along with other pets. I know we learned a lot about Maine Coon cats today, but if you want to learn even more about them, make sure to subscribe and tap the bell. I'll be posting even more exciting videos about them in the future. See you in my next video!